yeah, how to explore Folsom Lake when the lake is full. Did you know that you can rent kayaks, paddle boards? Were you aware that you could get a nice big fat giant burger at Folsom Lake? Watch here. Were you aware you could rent a pontoon boat on Folsom Lake? How do you get to this part of Folsom Lake? Probably the most beautiful part at Folsom Lake. All coming up. Full lake, full beach. One thing with having a full lake, there's less beach area. So, a lot more water. And that's why we're doing this video places to go when the lake is full, like it is in 2023. What's my favorite sound? That would be it. Cheers. So yeah, how can you explore Folsom Lake if you don't have a boat? We do own this raft with a trolling motor, battery operated trolling motor, but it's kind of cumbersome and it's kind of been put into retirement. We haven't busted it out but most of us don't own a boat. So here is the water levels at Folsom Lake, and you can see by the blue line, that is this year, 2023. The green line represents last year, 2022, and the dreaded magenta line is from 2021. The hopes are that Folsom Lake is allowed to stay full throughout the entirety of the summer. So our first stop is Granite Bay Main Beach where you enter in on Douglas Avenue. Here at Granite Bay Main Beach is where you can rent some paddle boards, kayaks, floating water toys here at Anchored Eats, and they have a little restaurant. Not rentable, just for decoration. They change colors? They change colors. Oh. Cool. Oh. You can grab a snow cone inside. Got the barnacle burger. And they got the... Uh, wholesome blues. Wholesome blues. Blue cheese. Get it? Patty. In the patty. Get it, Folsom Blues. The burger's really good. It's like one of those homemade burgers, right? So it's 15, $15 for the burgers, a few bucks for the fries. Um, highly recommend. <laughs> oh, oh, yourself, say hi. Hi, I'm Rebecca Shields from Anchored Eats. Um, so my question is, I thought yeah. you started in 2020, but you said you started in 2021. Yeah. So when there was no water in the lake. Yeah, there was literally no water. We started, we had the boat on the trailer because we couldn't even get in the water. So we are on land, like in the middle of Folsom Lake, pretty much on land because yeah, there was no water. Right. And we ended up moving to Lake Natoma 
on land. Saw because, that. Yeah, because um, we just we just couldn't do it at Folsom anymore because the way to get down was way too steep for that boat. Right. And then we got water in 2022, so we were finally able to make it out into Folsom Lake. And the boat was so heavy that we had to add pontoons to it. So it has like five pontoon, like giant ones on the sides. And yeah. we put decks on top of that so we can walk out. So during the summer months, the boat is open from noon to five on the weekends. Here's the limited menu that they have. So if you're in a boat, belly on up. And then after we're doing that, this place became available and we started this, so this is 2023. So this is called The Shack. <laughs> and here's the pricing for their paddleboard rentals, kayak rentals, even spike ball. You can even get blankets. Because now we're going to go check out Folsom Point. And on the weekend, Folsom Point, Folsom Point is beautiful, but there's not as much parking. So we're going to take a look and see if we can even get in there. So once you get through the gate, there's uh, two ways to go. First, we're going to go to the left down by the boat launch area where there is parking for cars and where boaters will launch their boat. The other way is to the right, which actually takes you to Folsom Point. Now, as far as parking, most of the spots are reserved for trucks and their boat trailers, right? See this guy in the white SUV? You really don't want to use those spots. There are parking to the right, though, for individual cars. If it's a slower day, it's not a huge deal. At this point, I'm just kind of camping out of spot, and we will return to this later in the video. Now we're going to exit the boat launch area and go around and explore True Folsom Point. Now at this point of the video, I was going to show you a bunch of footage of Folsom Point, but in order to keep this video a little bit more tidy, we're going to reserve that for another upcoming video on Folsom Point. So yes, you can rent pontoon boats from Folsom Lake. Now it's been a struggle the last few years. They haven't been open because there's been no water. No reason to get the boats out and then have to pull them back out of dock. And before that, it was the pandemic. But if you go to the Folsom Lake Marina website, it's kind of wonky at the beginning, but just click on pontoon rentals. And there you get information about pricing and the boats. I believe they have four, including this big new double-decker and a couple of refurbished pontoon boats. It's really inexpensive for the day, comparatively speaking to other lakes, especially like Lake Tahoe, which is really expensive. Of course, it is Lake Tahoe. Now, in this video, we talked about Granite Bay Main Beach where Anchored Eats is at. And then we go around the corner in this video, we didn't talk about Beals Point, but if you want to talk about Beals Point or watch a video, watch this video here. It's great for the family. And then, of course, we explored Folsom Point and the Folsom Point launch area for boats. But at Browns Ravine, that's where you rent the boats here off of Green Valley Road on the east side of Folsom Lake. And there's that shack there. It says it's the Folsom Yacht Club. I don't know of any yachts that are in Folsom Lake, but that's where you go for the boat rentals. Check it out. Okay, back to Folsom Point. This is where we're going to be for the day. Let's stick our feet in the water. And so when the lake is full, like it is here in 2023, do you want to stay away from barking dogs, screaming kids, and 
humans. <laughs> we found this place out here at Folsom Point and saw this dry thing. We're out here and then there's a lady and a dog over here that's gagging. <laughs> it's chuffing. Chuffing. But yeah, you can come out here just to the Folsom Point. So we're recording this on July 9th, 2023. And full disclosure, we have not gotten in the lake once. So those who live in the Sacramento region know that June is such a mild month. There was one day, one day, June 30th, that reached 100 degrees. There's normally 14 days of 100 degrees here in the Sacramento area in June, and there was one. So the lake hasn't had a chance to warm up, really. So we have not been able to get into the lake. It's really frustrating. Today, it's about 85. That's it. Stick our toes in the water, but that's about it. We're not getting in. So it's just been frustrating. I feel like I've missed out on my summer. We're fortunate to have all this water, but we haven't been able to take advantage of it. So hopefully later in the summer. Now let's take you to possibly the most beautiful spot on Folsom Lake, and that's Beak's Bite. Look how gorgeous this is. For you paddleboarders or kayakers, you know, the water's two feet from the parking lot when it's full, easy access. Now here is the drive to Beak's Bite. We are at Oak Point area, seen here in purple. Again, places that you could pull over if you don't wanna to go to Beak's Bite. But when is this open? Again, it's not open every day. Now, Beak Spite, Dotton Point, and Oak Point, all places that are north of Granite Bay, when the lake is full, is closed. You will see this sign. They are closed on the weekends, but you can get there during the week, excluding holidays. Now here's how to get to Beaks Bite. You can see the pink line, that's the, the road, the pink that turns into red, and you're passing the green area, which is Granite Bay Main Beach, and the pink area is Oak Point that you can get down to at the water during certain times. But Beaks Bite, follow the red line, follow the roads and the signs, in this blue area. Now when the water is low, whether it's winter time or just drought conditions, you can take your car down at Oak Point. But now that the lake is full, this area is closed north of Granite Bay, like I said, during the summertime. Because emergency vehicles have to be able to get in and out. And if everyone's just parked on the roadside, then the roads would be blocked. Now back to Beak's Bite. Here is Beak's Bite in April of 2021. If you recall, I shared this footage of the parking lot at Beak's Bite earlier in the video. At this point, we're walking back to the parking lot. And as you can see by the low water levels during this time, it created an incredible lupine super bloom. So there is that. And this is just further footage of Beak's Bite, how beautiful it is. So you can take a hike and explore Beak's Bite, even when the water levels are low. And on July 13th, we finally, finally were able to get in the water, north of Granite Bay by Oak Point. Thank you for watching Sippy Cup Adventures of Northern California. Hopefully this video has been of help to you. Also, we found a friend. There you go. It's a troll's life. <laughs>